What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, if you like to drive in your car and use your cell phone, but also get a charge while you're driving, this is something that might be relevant to you, especially if you have an iPhone 8 or later, or an Android device that also supports wireless charging. And so, um, especially on the iPhone 10 and later, the um, and the new ones that are coming out, wireless charging is a really nice feature. So what we have here are some guides, I guess, for kind of mounting. Uh, spacing this sucker up, I think. Um, iPhone X, 8, Samsung, Galaxy. Okay. We also have a uh, charger instructions. We also have some little felt tabs. We have a micro USB cable. Uh, we have over here the mount itself. And now, what's cool about this is that you know I use one of these CD slot mounts because I have a CD uh, player in my car, but I don't use any CDs. So, what we have here is this mount which you can put into your CD slot and then it looks like you'll use this to kind of crank it up and tighten it up so that will kind of wedge it in there just like that so you can adjust that now I think these are kind of tabs for giving a little more grippiness or uh, you know these are just hard plastic there so for example I'm not gonna just tell you I'm gonna show you uh, you don't really want the hard plastic on hard plastic so what we have here are little rubber pads so what, what i would do in this case is probably put this rubber pad on the top i think and they are adhesive obviously so this one's going to go on the top here like that and then these are going to go on the bottom so <laughs> some assembly required there you go so i've got one there and then I've got the other one. Right here. All right, so now we have that, just as simple as that. So now we have little rubber pads so we don't have to worry about marring that opening. So you're gonna put that in. Now that we have a little uh, ball joint right there, just like the Garmin stands, and then this is going to fit on there. How do you do that? Well, you're gonna have to loosen this little bad boy up first. That's gonna allow this sleeve to open up. So. I think you're going to want to slide this over the ball like that and then you're going to want to attach this into there usually a little bit of a tight fit and now when you screw it down it's going to really clamp down on it so uh, for the most part this little cd phone mount is going to be mm, it's not permanently you know in a position but you're going to want to put it in a position that you're going to want to want to use it in so for me if i put it in the cd slot like this i kind of want it angled a little bit towards me and you know kind of even and uh, then you would tighten it down and that'll keep that sucker from moving around now the most important thing here is that we have a wireless charging pad right here and that's where i think uh these little cards come into play so you know for me it's going to be iphone x or iphone 8 you would want to adjust the little arms and everything so that it's holding the phone in the right position. Now there's a little button on the bottom here and that seems to release everything. They seem to be under a little bit of pressure so uh, they're kind of always being forced out. So what you'll do, say if you have an iPhone 8, put this in here, adjust this in like this. Um, if you have the iPhone 8, you can just throw that sucker in there. I'll show you here in a second. And then this bottom one, looks like it moves yeah so this one moves too it's not automatic so you're just going to want to find the right position but this little card what i think it does is is help you line up where the coil and the receiver are so the coil in the on the charger to the the receiver and you can see here we're still quite a bit wide so i'm just going to close that up let's see how good this guide was so here's an iphone x at iphone 10 and look at that it slides right in there and the cool thing about the rubber on the inside of these plastic arms which is soft rubber is um curved in so you don't have to worry about it falling out like this in fact i could tighten this up just a little bit more so that it gives it a little bit more side to side uh support but i i i can't really even force it out the front which is nice you don't have to worry about it flopping out the front and the bottom should be right in the um this bottom support should be right in the right place so that the receiver and the coil are lined up. Now, you would just take this long US, micro USB cable and plug it into the side right here, and that should give you power so that you'll always have power. And I really like that because, you know, the idea is I would have this in my car, 
particularly my Fiat 500, it would just be sitting up there. When I get in the car, I can just kind of drop my phone into it, have it charge, you know, not have to worry about taking a cord, plugging it into the phone. You know, it's always gonna have power, even if I don't need it, right? I mean, sometimes the phone is 95% charged. I don't even care about uh, the you know plugging in the power cord, but it's just kind of nice to have it topping it off there passively Just by me dropping the phone into the holder now the things that I really like this for is I use the GPS I use Apple Maps Google Maps a lot on my phone and if you do that you've got to plug in that power You know the phone uh, GPS just drains the battery if you so if you use a holder like this and GPS on your phone uh, This is great because now I don't have to worry about plugging it in. It's always gonna be juiced up It's always gonna be getting power and I can use my GPS without having to worry about it So I think this is gonna be really exciting um, And uh, I'm glad I picked it up. This one was pretty cheap. It was actually one of the cheaper ones that I saw uh, So I will put a link to it in the description. I got this on Amazon so you can pick one up for yourself Any wireless charging phone. I think you'll need it. Peter Von Panda out